Meg, what did you do? This isn't what I'm doing. Yes, it is. They're all your tools. Oh, okay. So, we have a problem of like, you know, we got the roof up. Wait, you know, shed's like sort of done. And we moved in. And uh, this isn't good, but this is real, guys. We this is what this is what happened. It looks like my toolbox threw up. So we need to uh, yeah, there's trash, there's there's all sorts of things in here. We're gonna clear this out, right? And uh, we're probably gonna put it in my truck bed right there. And we're gonna move some other things into the barn. Maddie, where are you? You can't come in the shed for a little while, okay? Carmen, you're not allowed in, okay? All right. All right, let's go, Mick. That is empty. We're ready to pour, sort of. We have to do a couple things to prep. So if you followed along when we first made this slab, it really peeled the top layer. And we gotta brush that out of the way. We, we want good adhesion here. So this slab, believe it or not, is pretty solid. Has the rebar in there or the welded wire. Has that in there already. So we're just gonna put a top coat of Quickrete on top of here. We're gonna mix it with the mixer. We should be able to fit three bags of concrete mix at a time, 80 pound bags. And uh, we'll get into a rhythm. I think I'm gonna mix and do the wheelbarrow. And Meg is going to be over here troweling everything. But first, we need to get rid of this excess. Now that the dogs are out of the way, we're back to discussing business. We're going to, our concern, we have two things to address here. There's a gap here because we put the railroad ties next to the slab. So there's about a half inch to a one inch gap and it goes down to the thickness of the four inch slab. So we're probably gonna push this uh, gravel in there, get it all consistent, and then we have to kind of sweep up this dusty stuff too. I don't know if the best approach would be to wet everything so that it uh, creates a better bond when we lay that concrete on. So we're gonna, I think we're gonna do that, Matt. I It'll keep so the dust too. down, it'll allow it to bond easier. I think it's just got a bunch of benefits. So, all right. Let's get to work. We're not feeling 100%. Got a cold. The girls went back. They haven't been around other kids for since March of 2020. And yeah. they went back to camp mm -hmm. around other kids this week. And all four of us are sick now. Yeah, we all got the sniffles and the gross nose and, and all that. We're going to power through. Yeah. You're making a funny face. Explain why we're not carrying this in the tractor. So, I sent my Meg to go get this thing. I blew a hose on the tractor, guys. And uh, I'm waiting on the part from Royal King. Basically, anytime you use the loader, it uh, puts uh -oh. pressure on that hose. It's falling. Uh-huh. Feel my help. I gotta move my truck, get it out of here. That's as far as I'm taking it. All right, we got the cement mixer out. Meg's got her trowel. Here's what we're doing, Meg, in here. We're wetting it down, smoothing it out. We're not gonna get every grain. We're just gonna kind of mix in the bottom. Okay. Mix it up, push it into the corners. That's fine. Get the corners to a certain point and let's just pour it on top of the somewhat uh, rough bottom here that sounds good whatever we're gonna have two inches of good concrete on top of this so we'll just make sure it's wet when we're uh laying down the material all right yeah good
Here's what we have. This is the northwest corner of the shed right here. And this is one of the main reasons we built this whole shed is to get our, that's our pressure tank. Um, the well is somewhere else. Don't worry about the well. This is the pressure tank. Uh, all you really need to know is that the water comes from the well, uh, where? Right here, from this tube, goes through the whole thing and then it delivers out here. So the pipes are underground below the frost line and all that, but this thing needs to be frost proof itself. Just because it's in the shed, it's not going to be frost proof. That's not good enough. Uh, the inspector told me to get this thing um, insulated somehow. So I asked him if I could do a little closet that's insulated inside the shed. He said that'd be fine. So we are going to allocate an area for basically a mini closet, but the closet isn't going to go all the way to the ceiling. That's a bunch of wasted space. We're going to make a closet that is only about the height of the windowsill there. And it's going to come over a couple feet to enclose the whole pressure tank and the filter, the pipes, the gauges, uh, and the whole deal too. And we're gonna have, this is a drain that goes to the septic system. Uh, we're gonna have that in there too. So, Meg, put the broom down where the, where the bottom plate's gonna go. It's gonna go like here. Yeah, right? about there. So okay, about there. To, uh, like here. Yep. And then it'll shoot over that way. So we just need to make a quick L out of some two by fours because from the bottom of our awful slab, to the railroad tie, that's two inches. So if we do two inches all the way around, then we could pour our cement, um, and then we can uh, just have that footer in place for the walls for this little closet. So I'm gonna take care of that real quick, should just be two cuts. So that's, that's that. Um, now we're gonna pour up to here and just leave this. The, all the hoses, we didn't plan on having to pour more, so all the hoses and everything, they're at a specific height, so if we pour the extra two inches, we'd really start covering up stuff that we don't want to. So instead of doing that, what we're gonna do is have this area just enclosed, and like I said, this is a bottom plate, and then we're gonna fill this in with just some gravel, some of the dirty crush stuff that we have. So, and then if we need to access something, we can. We'll just move the gravel out of the way. It'll be fine. Uh, all right, so let's get this mounted down. box around the pressure tank, ready to go. We now have the cement mixer in here. I think I've convinced John to not use a wheelbarrow and just dump the mixer where we need it instead of going back and forth with a wheelbarrow. We'll see if he stays with that.
You know it's a good sign when the mixer gets moved out of the building. We're getting there. Probably two thirds, John? Yeah, there's two, a lot of concrete there. Two thirds. We still have quite a pile though. Whew, maybe we won't use it all, we can return some. Oh, here's what I do with my mixer. Finally, I got smart, dug a little hole for the for the wheel of the wheelbarrow. Oh, it sits down low enough so I could dump it in there. All right. I just brought a load into Meg. She's doing her thing. Cool. All right. Oh, I dented it. Huh. Oh, well. All right, here's my 80 pounder. Just gotta, I make my slit right here. Boom, carry it. Oh, you gotta commit to the toss too. Ready? Yeah. Right in there. Falls right in there. Boom, done. Now we add the water to it. You want this to be super soupy. Yeah, baby. Uh. Boom. Kind of rock it around a little bit. Take the dust out. People who found this video in uh, regards of this Harbor Freight drum uh, cement mixer, concrete mixer, whatever you want to call it. It's good. Meg, we've used the heck out of it, huh? Yeah, I, just, I wish it had better support. Yeah, see that right there? That leg right there? I don't like that. See, it, it got bent on us a little bit. I know we could, uh, you know, take that, take a 2x6 and just uh, put some lag bolts into it and maybe it would improve the shakiness of it. But one thing, it vibrated this thing out. I mean, I'm talking trash about it, but it's good. It's good. It's worth the money. I mean, one job, it'll pay for itself. It's good. I don't know what else. Oh, I do want to point out, okay, just in case you're confused, not DOT approved, okay? Don't take this on the highway. <laughs> Who the hell would do that? Who would take this thing on, like, the interstate? Not approved for highway towing. Do not tow on highway. Okay, I guess, I guess, I guess roads are a free game, but highway, no. Okay. involving rock, mega rocks. Maybe I can go over here and do it for the shot.
Came out good, Meg. It did. Meg did this by hand. And uh, I like that it's kind of rough. Do you? I do. It's not perfectly screened, it's, uh, but it's, it's really hard. And it's one piece this time, it's not crumbling, it's not frozen and flaking everywhere. Yeah, so, it's good. Yeah, could have saved a lot of time if we did it like that in the first place, but I think weather was our biggest, uh, biggest combatant last time. Yeah. So this is great. We got a nice hard floor now. We're at 24 hours later and uh, everything feels nice and hard. Yeah, it feels great. It feels really good in here. It's echoey feels good. too. Looks good. Ready to make this a functional shed. Yeah, so it took 46 bags of concrete. We bought 50, so not bad there. We got left inside the shed. We got to build the uh, build the closet for the water tank and insulate it. Yeah, we took it easy today. Yeah. Not feeling good. No, I didn't feel good yesterday, and uh, today, doing all this didn't help. No, we definitely felt it today. I slept all day pretty much. So. But hopefully we can uh, organize tomorrow and figure out what's next. All that we have left on the shed now are. Lights, electric. It's still lucky. Um, we gotta get, finish the locks on the doors, but quite a bit's all set. You okay, Maddie? All right, we're gonna close up the doors. The storm's coming, so we will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Do you girls mind? These are my puppies. They think the shed is their wrestling arena. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this Meg. <laughs> 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 <laughs>